Hello everyone. Today in this post I want to talk about equilibrium. Equilibrium of a system means every charge shall experience a zero force. As a reference I am taking two charges Q and 4 Q separated by a certain distance. We need to know where I have to keep a third charge, what is its magnitude, what is its nature, what shall be the charge so that the entire system is in equilibrium, it is not one charge that has to be in equilibrium, entire system has to be in equilibrium. Let us try to solve, there is a charge, point charge Q, there is another charge, point charge 4 Q. Now I have to keep a third charge, I do not know what is its value is, let me call it like capital Q, such that entire system has to be in equilibrium. For the entire system to be in equilibrium, first of all every charge has to be in equilibrium. Let capital Q to be in equilibrium. What is the condition? Let us try to identify. Let this is at a distance x, this becomes automatically d minus x. On this positive charge, this positive charge applies a repulsion. This positive charge also applies a repulsion. So, if it has to be in equilibrium, it shall not experience any resultant force in F1 equal to F2. We can apply Coulomb's inverse square law between this and this now. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q and uh, capital Q by x square between capital Q and 4 Q, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, capital Q and 4 Q by d minus x whole square. Capital Q's can be cancelled, small q is also cancelled, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught can be cancelled. What is remaining then? 1 by x square equal to 4 by d minus x whole square. Simplifying this further, d minus x by x whole square is 4, d minus x by x is 2, d by x minus 1 is 2, d by x is 3, x equal to d by 3. So, this is the first condition. For the system to be in equilibrium, every charge in the system has to be in equilibrium. Then for the middle charge to be in equilibrium, we have got a condition. We have to satisfy this condition that we have to keep the third charge at a distance of d by 3. Now the next thing that we need to know is in between that do I have to keep a positive charge or a negative charge. Let us assume first we are keeping a positive charge. Let us see what happens. Q, 4 Q between them at a distance d by 3. I have kept a positive charge plus Q. Now, this plus Q as I have shown in the previous case like this can be in equilibrium. Now, another thing is this small Q also has to be in equilibrium. But on this small q, this plus q applies a repulsion force. On this small q, 4 q also applies a repulsive force. So, these two forces are acting in the same direction that implies if positive charge is placed in between them, whatever may be its magnitude, if you keep a positive charge placed in between them. q and 4 q experiencing a force in opposite direction which cannot be cancelled therefore, cannot be in equilibrium, cannot be in equilibrium. Let us test what happens if you have kept a negative charge say q, 4 q, you have kept a negative charge here. Now, on this q due to this negative charge there will be a force of attraction. On this q due to this 4 q there is a repulsion. So, this is F 2, this is F 1 where they are acting in opposite direction. So, if charge
charge that we have kept in between is negative and f1 is f2 q can be in equilibrium. Similarly, for q also can be in equilibrium. Therefore, entire system has to can be in equilibrium. So, the conditions that we have got by this time is it has to be at d by 3 and it has to be a negative charge. The next thing that we need to find out is what shall be the size of that negative charge that we will find out right. So, let us try to find out what is the value of that negative charge is. Let us go back to the problem. I have kept a q here, I have kept a 4 q here and I have kept a negative charge here. I know that negative charge has to be kept at a d by 3 itself. Now, for a small q to be in equilibrium, what are the forces acting on this? On this small q, negative charge applies a force of attraction, this 4 q applies a force of repulsion. This two has to be equal in magnitude because they are already opposite in direction. So, F1 is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q and minus q. We know the distance already d by 3 whole square. Between q and 4 q, the force is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q and 4 q by this entire distance has to be taken into account. That is nothing but d, that is nothing but d square. So, what we can do? we can cancel 4 pi epsilon naught. So, we can cancel q's then what is remaining minus q by d square by 9 equal to 4 q by d square. So, minus 9 q by d square equal to 4 q by d square. d square and d square also can be cancelled. By simplifying this further we can get that capital Q is nothing but equal to minus 4 into small q divided by 9. So, to keep the entire system in equilibrium to get the system in equilibrium, we have identified two conditions. The distance has to be d by 3 from q. First condition is that second condition charge has to be negative no option. Third, that charge has to be equal to minus 4 q by 9. If all these conditions are satisfied, the entire system goes into the equilibrium condition. Thank you.